Not liking the looks of this, Gascon said, furrowing his brow. Neve followed his gaze. Before them, beside the road, stood a hut with a scorched thatch roof. Why? Huts abandoned, yet dried fruit and mushrooms hang from the eaves. Famine raging all around and no one's been tempted. I'd send a scout if I were you. The Queen did as Gascon suggested, and sent three infantrymen to reconnoitre. They entered the hut and found only silence, that was soon broken by a blood-curdling growl. The soldiers ran out at full speed, tripping over their own legs. Meave drew her sword, convinced a horde of Neckers or ghouls would soon attack. But her fears proved unfounded. Instead of monsters, out of the hut came a shaggy dog, a torn scrap of fabric clutched in its teeth. <laughs> Milady! One of the soldiers began, his face red with embarrassment and his hands covering a hole in his breeches. Uh, was dark as a well inside, uh, and that hound, it, it jumped out at us all of a sudden, biting it and snapping. Bad boy, Gascon said with a smile, then pulled a hunk of dried sausage from his bag. Bought by this generous offering, the dog calmed down at once. Further examination showed the dog was the hut's only resident. Like many others in Edirn, its owners had disappeared without a trace. Their loyal mutt still guarded the premises, waiting for his master's return. Let's take him with us, Gascon said. Otherwise, he'll die here of his own hunger or someone else's. A watchful sentry like this could prove useful in our camp said the Queen. Fine, he can join, but he shall need a name. How about Reynard? proposed Gascon, a cheeky grin smeared across his face. That way he'll come when you call, sit on command and always be a heel. <clears throat> uh, always heel, that is. Watch your words, said Reynard, hand tightly gripping the hilt of his sword. Or you'll learn I'm not at all as tame as you believe. Enough, both of you. That's an order. As for you... The Queen took a good look at the dog, who still had a scrap of fabric in his teeth. Since it seems you've a taste for the cloth of the nether regions, I dub you... Knickers. Will that do? The dog <coughs> wagged its tail vigorously, as if thoroughly pleased with its new name. Meave's company marched off, a furry new recruit richer. 